What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. We're here again with the opposite team. If you're unfamiliar, essentially, I have every Pokemon on this squad doing the opposite of what Game Freak intended. If, for example, we got, you know, Choice Band, Gengar, and etc. Um, looking at my opponent's squad, they are working with quite the kind of standard OU team full of absolutely massive threats. Um, but little does this guy know, he is in for a surprise. As always, make sure to leave a like on the video and leave a comment. It's always fun for me to read your guys' support and you know, feedback and things like that. So, getting into the match. This dude is leading off with a Rotom Wash as I've got my Bastiodon out here. Starting off with the wall. Um, I'm really just out here to try to set up Stealth Rock. I know with Sturdy, I can for sure take a Hydro Pump. Um, but I know that I'm going to need Hazards up to be able to kind of limit switches and have a chance against this crazy-ass team we're up against. But... This thing is going to go for the trick, turn one. Give me a choice scarf and steal my leftovers. So I was not done eating those, but my dude's just going to straight up steal my half-eaten apple. Just disrespectful as fuck. But to be honest, this Rotom is quite a menace to the team. I mean, Rotom Wash is kind of always a McAsshole anytime you're up against it. But specifically for this team, I really do not handle this well at all. Um, so I'm actually going to end up switching into my pussy, of course, as Mike Tyson would say. He actually comes in and gets will o -Wisp. So... Uh, opponent there is probably like, all right, good. I got, I got a Will-O-Wisp on the physical attacker. He can't do much with fake out and his, his physical attacks and shit like that. But surprise, bitch, I'm all special. So uh, I'm actually choice specs. I'm going to go right for the hyper beam. I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and melt this washing machine as early as possible. It's going to be really difficult to take care of later. And uh, I'm going to just try to see if I can get a KO. Unfortunately, it does actually live. Uh, just barely, um, so you hate to see it, but at least I was able to put this thing down to range uh, where I can just finish it off later pretty easily. Um, and also, kind of looking at the team matchup here, uh, Persian was kind of like the the least useful Pokemon on my side. Other than being able to switch around my specs onto something, uh, it wasn't super useful, so I decided to kind of sacrifice it, get a Hyper Beam off, uh, do a bunch of damage to the Rotom, and now it's kind of in range to where, you know, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. And he's over here still eating my leftovers, just in my face. So it's like, how, how them leftovers taste, bro? Bastiodon's uh, pissed off in his Pokeball. Anyway, uh, I have a free switch into whatever I want. I decide to go into the Flygon, of course, because I am Choice Scarf. I'm able to outspeed, and I can finish this thing off with a Draco Meteor. I decide to go for the Draco Meteor, uh, just in case there was a switch, just to get big damage off on whatever. Uh, it does end up taking care of the Rotom, and that is pretty nice. Honestly, I would really, I'm happy to trade Persian for the Rotom Wash, as, uh, like I said, depending on what kind of set that was, it could have been really problematic. But, on the empty battlefield, he decides to go into my low tick, so it's like I really cannot stop having to deal with these bulky-ass water Pokemon, and Goggles is fed up. He's gonna end up switching out because my dude cannot crawl his way out of a wet paper bag with minus two special attack. So I gotta switch out, and I decide to bring in the homeboy Hector, who... Uh, it ordinarily doesn't have a great matchup against uh, this big old water snake thick motherfucker, but I do have the uh, choice specs with my focus blast should be a two hit KO on this thing. Plus, you know, Machamp is a really enticing target for a Pokemon that has Scald because you can do some decent chip, plus there's always that high chance for the burn, uh, which a burnt Machamp, unless I'm Guts, I guess, was it would, would feel nice. But anyway, he does go for the hot water. Gives my guy a little rinse off, muscles looking moist, even though you don't really even need the muscles for the Focus Blast. It's all a sham. It's it's all it's all a decoy. Uh, but yeah, Focus Blast does do over half, which is amazing. And here I'm thinking uh, they're probably going to end up switching into their Gengar. So I'm thinking they're going to come in on a Focus Blast, avoid that, and then Gengar has a great matchup uh, against my Machamp. So I try to get the double switch going, switch into Flygon expecting that, but... Of course, Milotic doing dumb shit that these things always do is just going to recover some more and just be the most annoying Pokemon to kill of all time. So, <laughs> Flygon essentially has no business staying in here. Plus, I do really want to conserve this Flygon because it's going to be super helpful later uh, being able to outspeed things and Draco Meteor looks really nice for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the old switcheroo right back into Hector. Hector says, hello, you called? Uh, I am actually expecting the Ice Beam on the Flygon, so I should be able to take this better than a Scald as it's not Stab. It uh, does end up going for the Ice Beam, and I'm still sitting, you know, around half health, which is fine. As uh, I have no real choice other than to just go for the Focus Blast here. I can't really over-predict anymore. I tried to get the Gengar coming in. It didn't work. Now we resort back to kind of predictable play as he goes for another Recover. And it's like, what do you? what's your end game here, guy? You're uh, annoying. But I go for the Focus Blast, of course, since this uh, Machamp does have the ability No Guard. 
it allows it to never miss and also works for the opposing Pokemon if you're wondering that's kind of why Specs Machamp is kind of nice I'm not even gonna lie never being able to miss a focus blast is like a damn superpower so <laughs> he goes for another Scald I do live that still don't get burnt Hector just does not get burnt as uh, one more focus blast takes care of the Milotic and honestly looking at the matchup at this point having two of the bulky waters out of the way I'm feeling like a million bucks out here uh, but then in comes Big Meaty Claws, old Mr. Krabs, aka Scizor, is not going to be great here. I know that there's probably a bullet punch coming, so I'm thinking, you know, maybe there's a chance that he goes for the Swords Dance. Um, I can't one-hit KO this thing, and he probably knows that, so I'm thinking if I switch into Bastiodon um, on, a, on a Swords Dance, I still have my Sturdy activated, and then I can live a fighting move. So, uh, unfortunately, he does, in fact, just go for the bullet punch, which uh, breaks my Sturdy, and now I essentially am going to die if it does have the Brick Break, which, you know, of course it does. And uh, Bastiodon might be like the worst Pokemon to be on the receiving end of a Brick Break, just forehead just straight up split in half. My guy's face is literally a brick that just got broke, but uh, anti-meta Bastiodon did not get to do the Fire Blast on the Scizor like it was designed to do, uh, which is fine, as uh, I'm just going to switch right back into Flygon. I'm thinking I can probably bait a Bullet Punch here, be able to live it. Honestly, Flygon doesn't care about taking chip damage, as this thing's going to die if you breathe on it anyway. It's really frail. Mostly just here to outspeed stuff and do high damage, but... Uh, I do luckily land a Fire Blast, so thank God for the accuracy. I guess the goggles must be prescription, because that shit hit nicely, and, and the scissor is gone. So, three big threats out of the way, and things are going pretty well, as I've got kind of, you know, the element of surprise on my end. Because ordinarily, Flygon wouldn't be able to do shit against a uh, <laughs> scissor. Um, so, in comes a Garchomp, and I'm obviously locked into Fire Blast. So I do want to conserve the Flygon, I'm going to switch into uh, the Suicune, which I kind of thought that they would expect, as he actually ends up going for, you know, the Outrage. So, I'm actually, I believe I'm max HP and physical attack on this Suicune, so I'm able to take at least two of them, just barely, thank God, as um, I don't really know, you know, kind of what build this Garchomp is, but regardless, he's locked into Outrage, so he's got to click that again, my boy is pissed, but Yuzine says, that's fine, I live it barely, and then I can just fire off an Avalanche, in return because physical Suicune is the new meta <laughs> with the uh, with the extreme speed this thing's actually kind of kind of nice I mean it's just definitely better everything on this team is definitely better you know how it's supposed to be used but it's fun to have the element of surprise and, and see it do stuff that it's not really supposed to so that takes care of the Garchomp and uh, that's pretty damn nice as well another huge threat gone boom fucking evaporated by the boy Suicune tell you friends so he ends up going into Gengar here, and I am kind of running out on free things to switch into. I know that I need to conserve um, my Flygon for their Infernape. I know that if I keep my Gengar around, I should have a decent time to be able to get, you know, some chip damage off. So Hector's kind of the only dude to switch into here. I go into this as uh, the Sludge Bomb is going to take me out. Of course, I want to keep around the Suicune because of its uh, extreme speed. I know that the priority is probably going to be needed uh, if I want to win this match. So... Luckily, I've still got the Choice Scarf Flygon, who makes his 98th appearance of the match. I obviously can outspeed this Gengar here, drop a, D a Draco right on him, which I'm expecting to kill. Um, but as you'll see, apparently, uh, Special Attacking Flygon does not have the oomph that I thought it did. And unfortunately, that thing lives, which is quite unfortunate, because I did not really plan for that. But he actually clicked Destiny Bond, thinking he was going to outspeed. So... That's kind of a little bamboozle going on there, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to attack anyway. Since I'm disabled, I can go for the struggle, knock out the Gengar with a struggle. Would, has that ever happened before in a Wi-Fi battle? I don't know if I've ever even done that. But he does take me down with it because of the Destiny Bond, and I kind of just wanted to kill something with struggle. Plus, I think that was my best play because my win condition is Gengar combined with the extreme speed from my Suicune. So it's all coming together, and it's all down to me and this fiery ape. So all I have to do is let this Choice Banded Gengar get some big damage with uh, a Stab Shadow Claw, which, you know, this would be nice to not be a physical Gengar at this moment in time, but we're making it happen, boys. I go for the Shadow Claw. Uh, of course, I do outspeed, swipe his ass, swipe or no swiping. He does live it, which then allows him to go for a Flare Blitz. Luckily, that's like the only move that I think he would have had unless he was carrying Overheat. Um, but what's great is the recoil, which is amazing. So I knocks himself down to red as Gengar goes down, but my secret weapon is in the back pocket, and that is physical Suicune, boys. All I have to do is click the extreme speed, which there's no way he's expecting. I don't think anybody expects it. I go for the extreme speed, and that's going to end up taking care of the Infernape. So that is going to be 
uh, the end of the match, and that was a super close one. I probably could have played it better, uh, but happy to catch a dub against a team that was built to be like the most meta possible in BDSP. So <laughs> thank you guys very much for watching. Having a fun time with this team. Let me know if you guys enjoyed in the comments, and I will catch you next time. Peace out.